Hi, I'm Manny, a cloud support engineer here at AWS Office in Sydney, Australia. Today, I'm going to show you how to delete a network load balancer when it's currently associated with another service. Let's get started. To delete a network load balancer that's currently associated with another service, you must first delete the endpoint service entirely or replace the associated load balancer so that you can delete the network load balancer. So first, let's reject the endpoint connections with the intended network load balancer from any associated virtual private cloud endpoint services. To do so, navigate to the Amazon Virtual Private Cloud console. In the navigation pane, choose Endpoint Services. Review the Load Balancer tab for each of your endpoint services to determine your network load balancer is associated with an endpoint service. Choose the Endpoint Connections tab. For the connections that aren't in a rejected state, choose Actions and then choose Reject Endpoint Connection Request. Enter Reject to confirm. After you rejected the associated endpoints, you can do one of two things to disassociate the network load balancer. One, delete the network load balancer and keep the endpoint service active. Or two, delete the network load balancer and the associated endpoint service together. To delete the network load balancer but keep the endpoint service active, we must associate the endpoint service with a different network load balancer. Select the endpoint service that's associated with the network load balancer. Click on the load balancers tab. Choose associate or dissociate load balancers. Clear the selection for the network load balancer you wish to delete and then select a network load balancer to replace it and save changes. The second option is to delete both the network load balancer and the associated endpoint service. First, delete the endpoint connected to the endpoint service. Type delete to confirm. Now choose the endpoint service you wish to delete. Note, the endpoint connection must be rejected before you can delete the VPC endpoint. Choose delete endpoint services. Enter delete to confirm deletion. Now you can delete the network load balancer from the load balancer console. So now you know how to delete a network load balancer when it's currently associated with another service. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.